If you regularly sell to specific people or companies, creating customer records will save you time and help you to organize your business. You can create a record for each customer that holds all of their information, such as name, address, and other contact details, their defaults, and also a range of other information that you can specifically tailor to each customer. Setting up information within a customer record is a great way of storing their personal information, and with features like credit control, emailing statements and invoices, you can establish defaults for how you do business with them. You access customers from the navigation bar on the left. You create new records using the new option or by clicking wizard. The wizard option guides you through the process step by step. The new option opens a blank record. Each record has a number of options down the left, each one containing different information and settings relating to the customer. The first tab contains the account reference for the customer, their name and any contact information. The account reference can be up to 8 characters and it's important to think about the account reference format that you want to use as it can't be changed later on. For example, if you had a number of customers with the surname Smith, you might use the surname, an initial and a number, so Smith M01. This provides you with a well-organized account reference system. You can simply use a numeric system, however, abbreviating the customer's name will make it easier to locate the accounts when you enter transactions. In defaults, you can enter the details that you want to automatically appear when you enter transactions for that customer. For example, a default nominal code and tax code. Don't worry though, as these can be changed at any time within the record, and also at the point when you enter transactions. In credit control, you can set a credit limit and also specify settlement discount terms and the payment due days for the account. You can record the customer's bank account information, the details of any contacts you have with the customer, and you can add any extra notes about the customer in the memo tab. As you start to trade with the customer, all of the transactions will appear in the activity tab. There will be a summary of the transactions in the sales area, you can also access any linked orders and projects and the details of your transactions will be displayed in graph form. Once you've entered the information you click save and that's it done. In this example though we'll just close out of the blank record and that takes us back to the customer list. You can amend the record details at any time just by double clicking the record to access it.